Scientists have set off a furor with a supposed breakthrough in solar panel design. And for a 13-year-old, he's taking the controversy pretty well. And Aiden Dwyer, the 13-year-old in question here, joins us now from home in Long Island this morning. Aiden, good morning. Does this mean you're missing school? Yeah, good morning. I see. Apparently, even uh, you know, scientific breakthroughs don't give you a break when it comes to, to going to class. Aiden, you've designed, you've, you had these solar tree designs, part of a uh, submission to a science contest. Where did the idea come from? What were you trying to accomplish here? Well, first of all, me and my family, we went to, we usually go to Block Island for our summer trip. Summer trip. We, and we usually rent a house. And the house that we stayed in, it was, uh, it was ran by solar panels. So that kind of got me interested. And, my, and since then, my parents always wanted solar panels, but our yard is pretty tiny. So I tried thinking of like a way that we could have solar panels with having a small yard. And, and I thought like trees, they're found everywhere in yards. So if I just put like solar panels on the ends of the branches. Right, so you, you designed these solar trees to, to mimic sort of trees in nature thinking that they would be better at collecting solar power and then in your work found that in fact they were but then people raised concern once news got out and after you had won uh, recognition at the science fair that you were measuring the wrong thing. Aiden, what was it like for, to get this, ex this huge backlash against your work when people said that you were mismeasuring uh, the whole experiment? Well, at first I was, I actually started believing them but then I knew if I could just do another test it would show that it was collecting more sunlight and producing more current than the normal flat panel. So I kind of thought that I was right. And are you working on that now, Aiden? Sort of around the time of classwork and, and other things, again, not for that previous contest, but you've continued to press ahead and say you think ultimately you'll be proven right? Yeah, I've been starting to measure current. And this, the solar tree, it's actually making 20% more current than in the black panel. So. Now look, Aiden, I know that you're a big star now in the scientific community. You're controversial. You're out there. You're going to all these uh, uh, scientific uh, uh, seminars and expositions, and you're going, I think, I believe, to Abu Dhabi, the story said. Uh, yeah. and, and of course, now you're, you're, you know, you're battling the established science community. But I have the real qu Kelly's questions were okay, but I have some real important questions. First of all, <laughs> do you play video games? Do you have an Xbox? Do you, what do you do after school? You know, uh, are you are you like uh, walking around school now? Are you like the coolest kid at, at whatever uh, high school or middle school you're at? Oh, I do play video games. <laughs> <laughs> And have things yeah. changed for you at school? Are you looked at a little bit differently? Not really. Not really? They, they, they have no idea what's going on? Well, they do, but it's just like they kind of put that aside. Aiden, it sounds like you are quite popular among the venture capitalist community. <laughs> People are already yeah. looking uh, to friend you on Facebook and maybe raise money. What, what ultimately do you want to do here? Where would you love to work someday? Do you want to sort of stay in school, pursue the traditional approach throughout college, or are you looking to try and, you know, turn this around and maybe have it on the market? Oh, I think I want to go to college and then try to put it on the market. Try what? to yeah. make new decisions. I don't mean to keep interrupting. Well, um, where, where do you see yourself? Where, where do you want to go to college, Aiden? I have no idea yet. <laughs> What do you see yourself doing in 10 years? What kind of, do you want to be an inventor? Do you want to, is energy really important to you or? Uh, I would like to be an inventor or something related to science. So, or something that could help me continue my project or something. <laughs> That's pretty good. And he, as we mentioned in the story, uh, Aiden's had offers to travel all over the world, yeah. speak to students at even NYU, uh, for example. And Aiden, the real question focuses on whether the solar trees are designed to sort of mimic nature and, and actually will be more useful in terms of collecting and disseminating solar power. So despite your previous research not adhering to what uh, was correctly measured, as people in the scientific community said, you're pressing ahead, doing the, the results now. So what's the next step for you? I'm going to try to, since all different trees have Fibonacci numbers, I'm going to try to like uh, test every tree and then compare them to each other. So if I find like a tree that collects more sunlight than a tree that has a different Fibonacci number, then 
you know, still collect more sunlight. And, and are you getting support at school here? Are you getting support are you in the form of money or just uh, organizational help or support within the scientific community? Yeah, my teachers are like really excited and they're all supporting me. Not really money-wise, but more of like a confidence boost booster. Aiden, hold out for the money. <laughs> yeah, it's a great life lesson. And after that, could you solve the European debt crisis for us? Thank you. <laughs> we need some help on that front, too.